Hello my gorgeous Alphiuchus and welcome to your weekly energy check-in reading. We are just going to jump right in and get started. Let's see what we have this morning for Alphiuchus for the week ahead. Let's see, what are the energies here? We've got the Queen of Cups, Strength in Reverse. Mm, okay, what I'm kind of getting from this, yeah, okay. What I'm kind of getting from this is I do feel like there is someone who has, who I want to say tends to wear their heart on their sleeve. This may be someone that you don't know all that well, but when it comes down to it, this person has a heart for you. Um, they've been wearing it on their sleeve. People around them know all about you. Um, all your, you know, um, I want to say they know all your business, whatever that is, whatever they could figure out. It's like they've, they've talked it with all the people around them. And I feel like it's not to like, you know, air your business out there. I feel like it's, it's really because they're excited about you. Um, it's like e even your, your rough things. It's like, um, it's like a want to be there to kind of ease those moments, right? Um, that's what this person has in mind. Um, I feel like it's a good heart. It's a shy person. I am getting this person could be quite shy or reserved. Um, doesn't have to be shy, but th they are kind of subdued and pulled back just a touch. Um, and they have a depth of emotion that I feel like they want to share, but they have not yet um, gotten the strength up to step forward, they're afraid they're going to be rejected. Um, they have a lot of passion for you and a lot of want to move forward. Yeah, <laughs> so cute. Um, they think they could have a 10 of cups situation with you. I feel like this person is very sweet. I am almost getting a masculine energy with this energy, right? Um, yeah, they, this is a golden opportunity. They want to offer you that. Now, this person, it's like where I think they're sometimes very confident in themselves. I feel like they also have that, but what if it's not energy? It's like, I can give you an offer. I'm confident I have what you need. And then all of a sudden things flip in their mind and then they're they're less than confident that they have all the tools necessary to make this happen or to make you happy or to uh, provide you what they think they have to offer, right? Um, it's like they fluctuate very heavily between the two. Um, let's see, I want this, whatever it is. Yeah, they're afraid there might be competition out there too, or that maybe things wouldn't come together so easily. But they feel it. It's like they feel, they feel that clarion call going out, that, that call of uh, lovers rising up from the grave, right? So it's like they feel that it's time to give this a go. Um, they're just hoping, I hear hope upon hope that they come out on top right? If, even if there is competition out there for you and your time. Um, I feel like this person knows they would be really, really sad if things didn't work out. This might be cups that they would cry over, right? Or be upset over. They're not sure if you're already giving to someone. I feel like this person doesn't know you all that well. They don't know if someone's already occupying your time. Um, wrapped up in your energy. I feel like they think that could be the case. And I don't know if that's coming from, uh, you know, nerves or insecurity or the fact that they're looking at you and they see how valuable you are. So they, they assume that, you know, just like they have eyes, everyone else does too, right? Um, they don't want to miss the opportunity. And I feel like that's the thing here. It's like, they'd rather come in, take a chance. It's like, even if you are kind of talking to someone that maybe you're not past that stage yet and they still have a chance to kind of get in there. This person just sees that they could become more and they know they have to take the action steps to get there. And I feel like they're ready to do that. Um, yeah, it, again, they're, they really fluctuate between the energies. This is someone who is, I want to say, 
supremely nervous when it comes down to it. Um, like I said, I, I did get that this person could be very shy, right? And it takes a lot for them to step outside of, I want to say, that comfort zone. Um, they don't want to be defeated. They don't want to feel that heartache or that that stress or those mind swords. It's like, could I have done better? You know, it's like, was my approach wrong? It, it's got all of those unsure moments kind of attached to it. Yeah, I hear stress and worry, stress and worry. So, yeah, they're just not sure what they're going to get. They're hope, yeah, they're really hoping that they don't kind of create drama where it doesn't need to be. It's like they don't want to disturb you. They see you to be doing very well. Um, I don't know if they've watched you rise. Could be. I hear queen rising, king rising. So it's like I feel like you've got that energy that that's where you're heading. And it's like they don't want to disrupt your forward movement. They really do just admire you. Um, and I feel like they're a little worried that they'll, they'll make a misstep, right? But I still think even if that's the case, they're going to take the opportunity. Again, terrified. It's like, I want to take the opportunity, but it could end up in this. I'm so excited. I want to take those action steps, but it could end up in this. It's like every second thought is it not going right or you having someone else. Or it's like, yeah, I just saw we want to build. And then I saw the four of pentacles with that holding back. So it's like, I want to build. I want to create more. Yeah. This person feels a soulmate connection with you. So they are a little unsure of themselves. Um, again, I hear shy king of cups. You know, again, we had the queen of cups in the beginning. Now we have the, the king of cups. This person could be a water sign or have a heavy water placement in their charts. I feel like if that's not even the case, they have that watery type energy. Um, very emotional and I feel like they understand the depths of their emotions and probably others as well. And I feel like they're a little worried that that you might not, it's like be kind to them with their emotions. Um, it's like they know themselves very deeply, but you don't know that they're emotional, right? Um, you might not assume that. I feel like they already have a lot invested in this thought of you and them. They see you in such a way, whether you're masculine or feminine, you're extremely attractive. You've got this, um, this vitality and this magnetism that draws people in. You've got this magic and strong intuition or maybe gifted as well. Um, I hear your growth game is strong. There's just a lot of power and fiery passion to you. Um, and this person is looking on thinking, wow, um, I would really love that in my life. It's like, I feel like once this person gets comfortable, get ready for a good time because I feel like this person is a good time, right? I feel like in the beginning, they may be a little shy or a little subdued, but I do feel like once they yeah, look, here's that holding back energy. Once they get comfortable, after they're done holding back their energy, um, you'll see how very fruitful this person is all on their own, emotionally stable, um, fulfilled on their own, right? Perhaps very knowledgeable as well. Maybe enjoys their quiet time too. I wanna say too, because I feel like you might also. Maybe off on a spiritual adventure trying to find uh, the cups that suit or what fits or what fulfills. So this person could be on that growth journey too. They think that the two of you could have something very special together. And to be honest, I don't think they're wrong. Um, with that Ten of Cups that came out, the Ten of Pentacles here, and this Two of Cups, they do see an opportunity with you. And... I feel like they might be really getting brave this week. Um, you could see this person coming in. I feel like they're they're grappling with themselves. They're going back and forth, back and forth. It's like, am I ready? Can I do this? What if this happens? I feel like it's going to be one of those spur of the moment things where they just jump in. And I feel like that's what's going to help this person. It's like, once I step in, that's it. I'm in, right? So... 
yet they need to work on their courage. I feel like it fluctuates. I almost want to put it this way. It's like, is it going to be here or here, right? Um, and I don't feel like this person's not a brave person. I don't want to say that this person's not a powerful person. You can be beautifully emotional and in touch and in tune with those things and be a very, very powerful person. Um, I feel like those who, who get it, get it. It's like, um, a divine masculine, right? Um, when they stand in their balanced energy, right? We are both masculine and feminine energy coupled, right? Within the, in the system here. And when someone is maneuvering out of their highest energy, they are caring, nurturing, loving, powerful, and there's a lot of forward movement and passion, right? So they embody all of those qualities. Nothing is missing, right? This person's like full package energy. And I feel like this person is, but I feel like they're just a little nervous in getting there, right? Um, and that's kind of what I sense with this person. It's like they know they could rise into their power um, once they feel comfortable, I feel like. Um, it's just those nerves in the beginning. All right, let's see. What do we have for all these just for the week ahead? Your initials, their initials. Now, don't get upset if you don't see your initials or your person's initials. This is just an extra. So we're going to do this and then see if there are any other messages that Spirit kind of wants to push forward um, as a side note for the week ahead. Oh, this is a blank. So if you need a blank, you've got it. I heard got to take a chance, got to, got to take a chance is what I heard. Um, I just feel like this person feels like they're going to miss out if they don't take a chance. There's some kind of getting a tether from yesterday's read. It's like, um, I feel like it was in the charms as well, or the, um, the letters as well. It's like, like getting that brave and just knocking on your door and knowing that they have to introduce themselves. It's like, I feel like that's the energy here again. I almost kind of feel like it's the same energy from yesterday. It's like, I've got to do this. Um, it's like, I hear don't let grass grow under your feet, bud. So I don't know if somebody's saying that to this person. It's like, if you want something, go for it. It's like, you've got what it takes or, you know, you're more than enough. And I feel like this person needs to hear that. Maybe they just need to hear that from somebody they love. It's like, you're more than enough or they need to get brave and tell themselves that and to believe it. You're more than enough. Um, whatever you have to offer the person that you are in this now moment is more than enough. Um, I heard that's tea. So, oh, I heard that tea is hot. I don't know if people are talking about this or people are going to be talking about this. I don't know if this is this person coming in is like an eligible bachelor or bachelorette. Uh, this person coming towards you. Yeah, it's like the one to get, the one to be, the one to beat. I heard competition is fierce. Now, maybe the competition for this person is fierce, but they've chosen you and they're coming in your direction. That could be why the tea is so piping hot is what I hear. I heard say goodbye. Um, and I see a lot of people sighing. So it's like, it's like a lot of people are going to be sad when this person's off the market or when you're off the market could go either way. You could be the one that's the one to get the one to be with, right? Yeah, I heard top notch. So it's like, I don't know if that's how you're being seen. I heard it's gotta work. So it's like, I don't know if they have a plan that they're coming in, that they're going to, it's like what I wanna say, how I want to approach, um, what energy I wanna give off, right? Um, and I hear it's gotta work. So I don't know if they're, I heard with gift in hand. So I don't know if it's something like that could be for some with flowers in hand could just be them and what they have to offer as a person like ready and available so they can share it with you show you who they are so I don't know what level this is or what this person's plan could be could be something like that 
There's something about basil. I don't know, that just came out of the blue there. I don't know if somebody has a pet or a cat named Basil. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. That's a cute name. All right, let's see. Yeah, now it's just a bunch of jabber going back and forth. Nothing really too clear. All right, let's see. What else do we have? What do we have for off you guys for the week ahead? What do we have? Okay. Yeah, look, I don't know if somebody feels like it's pulling teeth to get you to open up or um, there's, okay, so this is all one situation, isn't it? Yeah, it feels like it. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Listen, I feel like there is someone coming towards you and I want to say they're coming towards you. I, I did hear in their favorite season. So they see you to be a like soul look, but they also see you to be almost like impossibly impossible to catch. It's like I see one horse running towards the other one and the other one's bucking and jumping. And it's like, it's like this one horse is you. And I feel like you're on your wild run. You're, you're moving, you're just going with the flow and you're, you're moving in your own direction. You're not really even seeing that this person is kind of giving chase yet. Um, I feel like that maybe has made this person feel a little sad or a little down. It's like, I feel like for a while they were really hopeful, but that they could catch your attention. But I feel like in order to catch your attention, they really have to be upfront and sort of in your face because if not, I feel like your attention is elsewhere. You're so used to putting your attention into your growth or to the people around you that, you're really not focusing on uh, things that are coming in from the outside. You might even have a mentality of kind of when you're home or when you're in your space, you don't focus on the outside. It's like you kind of just take that time to relax and recoup and regenerate. So it's like, I don't know if the, the signals are being blocked. And I feel like this person's being called to kind of step forward and be brave. Um... It's got to, I, I hear something about it has to be face to face. And I feel like you'll notice this person then. And I feel like it might be a whole lot easier with that can opener for you to open up. There could be healing in this situation. Some might be a misunderstanding. It's like the reason you didn't notice them or the reason you didn't engage with them. It's like maybe you didn't know that they were kind of looking towards you. I, I kind of get two souls crossing by as the days go by and it's like you see them, you notice them, but maybe you don't think that this person wants something more. I feel like they might be giving chase or have been giving chase for a while and you might not have with everything going on and I feel like the way you keep yourself busy or um, I hear mind of my own business. So you could be that way as well. It's like you just focus on your own stuff. Um, you might not have realized. This person could have a little bit of a heartache when it comes to this situation with you. Again, I hear heart on my sleeve. So I feel like this person's very loving, very gentle, very caring, very kind. Um, and maybe they assumed that you were kind of not interested it's like maybe sometimes you seem interested and sometimes you don't. I feel like the best way to kind of get through that is to, you know, communicate face to face, upfront, honest. Um, we do have this um, egg corn and this one, this little tiny thing is so heavy. Um, and I feel like it's, again, I hear hook, line and sinker. And the fact that it's an egg corn kind of symbolizes our timing now. So it's like, if you want to catch this person, they might feel like they have to do it now. Again, I'm getting that same thing as the reading. Don't want to miss the opportunity. Don't want to miss my chance. It's like if I don't step forward now, somebody else might get there before me. I don't know if, I again, I hear like you're the catch. You're the one to get. Um, so that's kind of what I'm seeing here. All right, Ophiuchus, that is what I have for you all. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.